with the camera. I didn't do the camera. Alright, this video is going to be another video I'm going to add to my breastfeeding stuff. Um, I wasn't going to make another any more videos about breastfeeding, per se, or pumping. Because I think I exhausted myself out of all the topics I could really talk about. But, um, this one is one, this is something I just found out about over the weekend. And, um, I just always wondered why my breast milk smelled sour, like if I froze it, and then I would use it like two or three weeks later. Um, and I was like pumping one night at work, and I was looking at this little like breastfeeding guide that came with my pump, and it said that, um, it, one of the questions was, why does my breast milk smell sour after it's defrosted or something like that? And it said basically that, um, there's um, something called lipase, and it's um, an enzyme that if you produce too much of it in your breast milk, um, it's an enzyme that will eat the fat pretty much in your breast milk and cause it to sour. Um, so I wasn't aware of this, so basically I was feeding her sour breast milk, and I didn't realize that she was eating it, but um, she, I mean, she would take it if she didn't spit it out, so... And only some of it did smell sour, and I just thought that maybe it was because I was warming the breast milk too much, and then it would kind of give it a, a sour smell, but um, when I tasted it, it tasted um, like metallic, and some of it tasted soapy, which I read online that if it tastes soapy, it's not a big deal, but if it tastes, excuse me, sour, um, rancid metallic -y that you should throw it out. So, um, the only way to stop the lipase from eating up all the fat in the breast milk is before you freeze it, um, like right after you pump it, you're supposed to scald the breast milk in a pot. Um, basically, you um, let it heat up till there's like little bubbles, but don't let it like boil, like a rolling boil. And then um, you cool it and then immediately freeze it. And that's one of the ways that, um, or the only way that I've found um, to stop the live paste from eating all the fat and causing the breast milk to sour. Um, so I don't know, like some of it, I read online even that sometimes like it can, um, even when, before you pump it, it can like eat away all the fat and um, still be spoiled once you pump it, but I only heard that from one source, so I don't think that's true, but if anybody else has any information, more information on this stuff, at the live paste and how you're supposed to store and freeze and whatnot, um, just give me a message or um, comment because um, I really like some more information on this, like I just keep finding the same things over and over again, how you can prevent it. And, um, even, like, um, if you change your diet, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just something that, um, some people produce too much of. And so, and, and so, um, the only way to prevent it from doing it is the scalding. Um, and then I know, like, I saw one question about, because I, I pump at work and I don't have access to a stove. And somebody asked if you could microwave it, of course, that's like the biggest no-no in like breastfeeding or breast milk and pumping and all that and warming it is microwaving it. But then somebody said they found a study that showed that the microwaving um, killed more of the lipase than what the boiling did or the scalding did. So I'm not sure. I want to ask the lactation consultant, but if anybody else has any information on this, I would be so happy if someone could just message me or comment me um, below, of course. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.